These are the mine dams. This is the biggest stadium, the one that uh, the Kalabash one, the FNB, the First National Bank. The stadium has been here for some decades, but after they announced that in South Africa, we're going to be hosting the World Cup in 2010. So they renovated the stadium so that they can show Ubuntu. So they built this stadium just like the Kalabash, the one that we drink our African beer, which you call it Umkomboti. So before, when you go out there, you're going to have to drink Umkomboti, sing the song with the Kalabash. So yesterday I did teach you the song. Do you still remember? No, 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 no. <laughs> so we're going to go outside there. I'm going to do another presentation when you're outside so that I can point the things that are around in the stadium because there's so much history around it, the FNSP Stadium. Because in Soviet we've got five stadiums. So this is the biggest one, which is FNB Stadium. It's the home ground of Orlando, of Kaiser Chiefs. Because it's there in Soviet, you've got three teams of soccer. So we've got Orlando Stadium, that played a big role to the people of Soweto during the 1976, June 16, the Soweto uprising. Because the kids were coming all over around in Soweto to go to that stadium to deliver their proposal, to say to hell with Africans, we don't want it as a media of instruction. Then we've got the Jablani Stadium, where people waited for Mr. Mandela when he was coming out of prison on the 11th of February in 1990 to come and deliver his speech. Then we've got another stadium where they groom our national team of soccer, which is Nike Stadium. And the last stadium is Dobsonville. As I've mentioned that we've got three teams, Kaiser Chiefs, Orlando Pirates, and also Morocco Swallows. Ladies and gentlemen, please come with me outside. We're going to explain more and take a beautiful pictures outside. Thank you. We're not going to go inside the stadium. They're still closed also. Because we're just going to go in here. Kaiser Chiefs! Yes, yes, yes. So family, this is the stadium that looked like Kalabash, FNB Stadium, First FNB. National Bank. And this is our Come this sister side so tour guide. You can show the FNB sign, the First National Bank. Didn't they have a, a unity team when Mandela was released? Yes, they did have. <laughs> Not anymore, huh? No. So Even in the car that when Mandela was coming out of prison, they will show you when you go to district. It's just that the apartheid museum is closed. That car, they can't find it anymore because there was a Cressida, the Mercedes. A Cressida, no, a Cressida, because the Mercedes is the one that they donated to him. But there was a Cressida car that did fetch him when he was coming out of prison. They don't know where it is that car up until today. So you said a calabash, so that's a board, right? Yes. And a on the inside. Inside. I'll show you one when you go there. It's, it's made out of the sand, but the one that you get it from the river. Yes, that's it. <laughs> No, you don't have to grow it yourself. You make it out of the sand that you get it from the river. I'll show you when we see what that other side comes. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like you, you're not in the group. You're too quiet. <laughs> like when, when you're getting in in the morning, I said, is she part of us? She's, I think she's taking, she's taking an information, right? It's a lot to I, take in. I, I speak when I want to speak. Yeah, I like, <laughs> feel like when I feel like it's something. But somebody, when you, when, when you arrived, you. someone would be saying, Dumela or Molweni, they wouldn't think that you're from Africa, uh, in Atlanta. Oh. They'll be saying, Sawana Sisi, thinking really? you're local. Really? Yes. Oh. And her also. Yeah. So, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got flagged in the back. Over here. They don't want to let me in. Oh. Your passport? The first match of the 2010, during the time of, 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 of World Cup in South Africa. The first match was played here, and the last match was played around here. This is the FNP, 
the First National Bank. It was the major sponsor of this stadium when they were renovating it after they announced that we're going to be hosting the World Cup in South Africa. So also the First National Bank, it was the first bank to allow the black people to invest with them. Wow. The stadium had three names. There was a soccer city, the National Stadium, and the FNP. They ended up choosing the FNP because it's also one of the major stadiums, uh, the sponsors around. The capacity that can take care, it's about 94,000 people that can be in the stadium. The One Nation concert, when it's done in South Africa, they come around here with Chris Brown, and also when you're having big events around in Soweto, they're doing it around here in the stadium around here. When you go around on top there, you'll see a white, it's a foam that shows the color, the umboti, the one that we're going to be drinking later in Soweto. Oh. That one, yes, the foam is on top there. Yeah. Umkombot is the one that is brewed by women. When you're having a ceremony at home, when you're getting married or you're changing your surname, you have to do that. It's a quality, a umkomboti. So you'll taste it when you are there. And they say when they're making dress that it's good for the man. And they know why. <laughs> All right. It's very interesting. Okay. <laughs> and then on the left-hand side there, you see that thing that looks like a transparent windows. Yeah. On, my le on my right, sorry, I'm, I forgot I'm a left -hand. On the right-hand side there, there are 10 of them around the whole of the stadium. They symbolize the nine provinces of South Africa that during the time of the World Cup, not only Gauteng, the province that we are, it was played only, but all the other provinces, they did have a match during the time of the World Cup. The other side of the flag, that side, the tenth one it represent is Spain, because it shows that the Spain, they are the one who won the World Cup here in South Africa in 2010. Unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, I wish it was us. Yeah, so for this real, is right? one of the best stadiums around that we are having here. It's not like other countries that they build a stadium when they're hosting it and then afterward they don't use it. Here we use it when we have concerts, when we've got churches that are around, events around here. And then also they do tours inside. They do allow right. people to go and do tours around. They take about one hour, 30 minutes to go there. You're visiting the changing room, the VIP, the media, and they even take you to the ground where they're playing soccer around there at the FNP Stadium. Nice. Mm -hmm. So this is the one there, the biggest in Calabash. Coach, have you ever been inside? Yes, I've been a couple, a lot of times. Oh, okay. Because sometimes we do take school kids okay. on a tour to Soweto. Then we ask them to so that the kids can come in, and then they went inside the stadium. It's one of the beautiful stadiums that we have yeah, around so here uh, in Soweto. Mm -hmm. Is there a way? Uh, mm -hmm. how, how will we be able to get? Can we get a uh, look inside at some point? We I need to it? make an appointment <laughs> okay. and ask them if we can go in because there's a charge that they do there. Oh, it's not just for free. Then they, it's about 120 per, per person okay. to go inside here yeah, at the stadium. Okay. Then there's a guided tour that it take you about an hour uh -huh. to go inside the stadium. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So normally when they're taking a good picture, they say it's a good picture, yes. They allow all the ladies to come and stand here and face that side. And then when they come to three, they say, please show us your calabash. <laughs> Do you know what your calabash? <laughs> So you can stand uh, here, all everyone here. We take a beautiful picture of the stadium at the back. Okay. Everyone stands in here. So what was here before this? It was just an open space, and then they've decided to build a stadium because of, as I mentioned, the three teams that we're having in Soweto of soccer. Yes. So all of them they need to have their own stadiums. Excellent, excellent. Ozzy, what is this wall? What is that? These are the mine dams. Remember Johannesburg and Soweto was discovered because of the gold that was found here in 1886 by George Harrison mm -hmm. from Australia. When he came to survey Johannesburg, he saw that there's gold. In Pretoria, there's diamond, and then in another province, which is northwest, there's a platinum, and then in Pumalanga, there's a coal. 
So we, where we are, we are in a place of gold where we're standing, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. But now the mine dams, they've closed them down because they never thought that next to the mine dams there could be a township. Because after that mine dam, that side, that's where we're going, the biggest township, which is Soweto. Mm -hmm. So now they're closing them down because of when it's windy around, most of the people are getting the tuberculosis, the TB. Mm -hmm. So that's oh, why huh. they're closing them down. And also the houses are losing the value because of the cracks. Wow. Because these mine dams, they are closer to the upper class of Soweto, which is the expensive suburb that was built in the late 80s. A deep proof extension. So you'll see that other side. So that is why they watering this. They used to have a lot of mine dams around, especially in Johannesburg, because that's where our fathers and grandfathers were working in the mines. So they never thought they could find this area now that we call it a township, which is Soweto, because they were staying from different areas around in Johannesburg. But during the time of an apartheid, they told the black people to find a suitable place where it's not too far from Johannesburg, because they thought where there's black people, there are different diseases. So as they were moving around, they found the area that we're going to be seeing there, which is Soweto, which was owned by a white lady, Mrs. Pim. She allowed the black people to move in there in 1904. That is when Soweto started. Mm. Wonderful. 1904. 1904, yes. Uh, so a, black, a white lady in a black country allowed black people to move into to a move black in there. Yes. Yes. How gracious was she. <laughs> Okay. What a great woman. Can I have your camera, one of you, the, the phone? I will give you mine.